Hello there, Tyrant here, and I just finished watching episode 2 of the Rio's work is never done. And so a surprisingly interesting episode actually. Um it had So let's start at the beginning. So we get to see uh shoot, what is his name? Fuck. I'll get his name. No wait, we get the main guy. He's having a match and <laughs> anime can always make anything look intense. Especially Shogi. But, you know, you have this match, and he comes to a realization during this match, and it's worthwhile. Mostly when you're trying to uh, take on and teach someone else, is you have to actually, you know, you know, pursue to challenge yourself. So I, I enjoyed that level of realization from, you know, from just this match he had with uh, this one dude. Uh... But then it kind of got to a more like funny childish thing so I you know she invites some of her friends from the training group and then they kind of do a training group or they do a training group so it's a it's when you get together with other pl uh, players to kind of you know play shogi and then learn from there and you know that's kind of cool I found that interesting you know you kind of do that with any kind of uh, with sports or uh, card games or chess or any anything that you have you want to learn and improve on uh, you kind of just get together with other people in that manner and then you know you practice and that's kind of cool I, I really enjoyed that idea uh, but then you know it kind of got to that lowly kind of thing and it was like seriously ah, whatever <laughs> you're just kind of stuck with it but it was funny because, um, you know, they stayed up all night. I was like, are you serious? You guys literally stayed up all night playing Shogi. <sighs> and how things ended up in the morning. Ridiculous. It was really funny uh, when his uh, quote-unquote sister, the Snow Queen, shows up and <laughs> takes incriminating photos of him. Uh, I found that kind of uh, funny. It gave me a chuckle. Uh, because then he would have been stuck with uh, the title of the Loli King in the community for life, which is hilarious uh, when you're stuck with the title for life. Because everyone seems to have, you know, there's there's titles in this war in Shogi, from what it, I can tell, and you know you have to earn them, and then you have this, these other uh, name titles, which is interesting, kind of like the how the the sister character has Snow Queen and something else I can't remember off the top of my head. You know, it's pretty interesting. Uh, I like that. Um, and so you get to the end of this episode which takes a late turn and I did not expect this. I did not. So her eyes parents come to pick her up, you know, and you know, I'm like and apologize. You know, I'm sorry, you know, we're gonna take her home and everything. And like, okay. Okay. What? Um and it turns out you know, it is his first uh, disciple, and you know, teaching. Well, teaching anyone is really hard. Uh, I've taught different people uh, how to play different card games and stuff like that. It's not easy. You know, you gotta you gotta be a special someone. That, oh shit, I'm a horrible teacher. Uh, I know that for sure now. Uh, but mostly when you're doing it as a profession, uh, you can I can only imagine what that is. I should look up some. I should do some research. But anyways, you know, um, so, so their eyes parents want to take her home, and you know this whole like whole like back and forth happens uh, with the mom and she. I don't remember the guy's name. Whatever the guy's name is, uh, because apparently the dad is kind of like submissive because apparently he married into her family there's a whole lot of that's a whole another situation involving marriage and stuff in that in that form wait I'm guess okay so I'm guessing then that the mom's family owns the hotel yeah okay that makes sense but anyway that's a whole nother thing uh, but at the end of the episode, you know, uh, she's gonna, she's, it's the day before they have to do her entrance, and, entrance exam to, you know, do all this stuff. And, uh, so she has to, uh, 
normally what it, if I'm um, if I'm learning this correctly, she has to you know play against three matches, and around there you would get you would get seen if you're gonna enter to be a professional shogi player. If I'm correct, and for her to stay, her mom said that she has to win all three against professional shogi players. Like, <laughs> okay, okay. Training camp apparently again. Oh, so it got really intense at the end in the sense of uh, like, like, you know, things are happening. This is, this is like more realistic. You know, it was fun in the beginning. You know, the first half, the first half of the episode. You know, it's fun playing a shogi match. It's intense, yes, but it's uh, it's that level of intensity that you know, uh, it's kind of like enjoyable playing a game. And then, um, then in the middle part, it's just uh, you know, just kind of just being its fun, kind of creepy thing. But at the end of the episode, you know, it gets really heavy with family and shit. Like, okay, whoa, really? Episode two got me. He got me. Um, I do like that it, we finally like I. Uh, it took me a second for her idiot thing. You know the childish version of idiot you know and uh i got it i just thought it was a misspelling or maybe just a thing but even he had to figure that out at the end of this episode you know it's really funny when she's uh being um kind of jealous uh, at times i actually might rewatch the episode because it was actually an enjoyable episode to watch uh just the level of intensity and uh how heavy the episode turned out to be uh, makes it makes next week's episode you know actually have you know we'll not, we know she'll win but it's uh, what level of intensity is going to come out of it you know oh yeah so that, I actually that was a lot in that episode Whew. we're just kind of to wait and see so th thanks again for watching until next time.